need something to put my phone in. What's up, YouTube family? Hey, y'all. So we ain't got nobody tuned in yet, but I'm gonna start talking. So people who watch this video in the future, they uh, start seeing content right away. So um, tonight I am cooking some fried fish. We are doing Sway, S-W-A-I. And then I'm doing some grits and the red lobster style biscuits, but we're not doing the cheddar one. We're gonna do the honey butter kind, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all my setup out here. So I got this table, but since we don't want to mess it up, you put the towel over it. And here's my little grease thingy with the grease on. I already got my grease warming up. It's a little above 325 and it's plugged up. The boys are playing. Say hey, y'all. Hi. Hey. <laughs> boys are playing while I'm cooking. What's up, you guys? I am feeling good, y'all. I haven't been sick. Um, I threw up a little this morning, but that's only because I ate my food too fast because I was hungry. I ate like two bowls of cereal, cereals and I smashed. So, let's go prep. Mmm. Mmm. I'm okay, Grandma. It smells good, though. Okay. So this one I have the cornmeal and I'm just going to shake my cornmeal on this pan. Mm -hmm. oh, you're talking. I'm talking to camera. <laughs> <laughs> I record on YouTube. Okay, I talked to so, you about it. It's okay. Okay. And then I need some scissors. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Let's get some scissors. Because I got to cut the fish out the the thingy hold on y'all i know it's dark hey everybody i see y'all i'm tuned in i'm looking hey y'all hey y'all i'm good kathy thank you uh kina no grandma is warming up her pho to eat right now she's eating pho she hasn't ate since earlier so that's what's that's what you see so she's warming up the meat because when you get pho, uh, the meat becomes raw. So when they bring it to you, the meat's not cooked. So she has to warm it up so that um, that when she put the meat in the soup, it cooks. So here we have our fish in these little packs. So I'm just cutting them out and giving them a rinse. And again, this is a uh, sway, you guys. If you don't like, if you haven't tried sway, it's very good. I like sway and grouper. And when I get done, I just move it over to my other pan with the cornmeal. I like sway, grouper, sea bass. Not a big fan of um, tilapia. Look at the little button. Yes, yeah, the little one, you guys. It ain't too big yet. It's a little pokey poke. So who all likes fish and grits? I know that's like, a, is that a Southern thing? Like that's how we eat our fish with grits. <laughs> and I got a lot of fish to fry because um, normally in the house when we cook, we cook enough for a couple days so everybody can eat leftovers and folks that gotta go to work and take food to work the next day. So we took we took a lot of food at one time. Let's see what y'all talking about. I did my lashes, y'all. I put them under, not on top. I should do a tutorial on that. I think there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube of that though. Like try that style, you guys. And you do your lashes, like the strip. I cut them up into little pieces. And I put them underneath the lash line instead of on top of the lash line. That way it's hidden and it lasts a little longer. So, thank you, Sarah, girl. I appreciate you. And my hair is still straight. <laughs> It'll be curly in a couple of days, though, because I got to wash it. It's going to start itching. 
So I'm just like giving the, the fish a little squeeze to get that excess water off of it. Y'all, I hear that a lot of people can't put lashes on. Hey, pretty mama, never had good to mind me pour it. I hate pour it. Oh, yeah, you're not big on texture. That you don't like uh, oatmeal and stuff. A lot of people who don't like grits and stuff like that, they don't like oatmeal. I'm not, texture doesn't bother me. Only thing that bothers me in taste is taste. I'm not big on, I don't, texture, smells, they don't bother me. Because a lot of the foods we eat in my culture, you know, it stinks anyway, so... I never judge a, a, a dish by its smell. I gotta taste it first. Cause fish sauce might stink, but it don't taste nasty. I gotta hurry up for these boys out here in this water. So YouTube has this new algorithm that's pretty dope. It lets you see when, um, what time majority of your people are on. So that's why I decided to cook around this time. Cause a lot of my subscribers on YouTube are online between around five, after five, and, uh, five between five and six. So I was like, okay, which makes sense. That's when most people are getting off work and stuff. We wanna do some shrimp too. Fry some shrimp, but Eric likes fried shrimp. All right. I just put the, um, the fish, uh -huh. uh, I uh, cook. No, I'm not cooking. I defrosted it. It was frozen. Uh -huh. So I put the hot water in that bowl uh -huh. so it can um, not be frozen no more. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. <laughs> I really do don't believe it. Thank you, Grandma. Let me get some gloves. I don't want to put my hand on it. Like, let me see if put gloves on. Different stuff. I like to. I like. I like to eat. Oh, this black thing, I talked about. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do that, that bowl big enough for you? Is that all of it? That's no, all of it. No, I'm half. Oh, that's half. Yeah. Okay. So you have more for later. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Hey, uh, hey, girl. So now I'm just gonna take the fish and like coat them in the um, batter. And this is a mixture of cornmeal and zatarins. So it can be crunchy. You know, okay, I'll be out there in a second to fry this. Mm -hmm. So it can be crunchy. You want our fish crunchy with a nice coating. Fish and grits is bomb though. Like you don't know what you're missing out on if you don't eat fish and grits. Got it? I think you lock it. Uh oh. Wait. Okay. There. You go. <laughs> right. You welcome, Grandma. I'm making a mess. So y'all see, I'm just coating each one like this. So when I drop it in the grease, it'll be nice and crunchy when it come out. And it's gonna be golden. And I'll show you the red lobster bits I'm talking about. Eric bought this pack of biscuits. Oh, it's new, that's why. Cause I, said, I ain't never seen this one in the store. Normally I buy the Cheddar Bay biscuits, but um, some of the batter, I don't put cheese in it. Cause y'all know I don't like cheese. So um, I'll put cheese in some of it and about four, like three of them, I don't put no cheese in it for me to eat on. But this one is honey butter, which I think is going to be delicious, delicious, delicious. That, that word sound weird when I say it, delicious. There it go. That noise is. Okay, y'all, so now that I've done that, I'm going to take another pan to move the fish in to take outside because I don't want to take this whole pan outside like that. But here's all my battered fish, as y'all can see. And I didn't season it, y'all, because the Zatarins already has, like, a mad seasoning in it. So I don't want the fish to be too seasony 
too much seasoning and too salty. So I'm gonna take this pan right here and just put all the battered pieces in it. And I'm gonna shake off the excess just a little like that. And we finna go outside and drop these and come back in and batter our shrimp. Any of y'all tried sway before? Because I know a lot of people do like tilapia and whiting. Anybody have sway? That's what type of fish this is. We like sway and grouper. I put fruit on a grouper. He ain't know nothing about it. He tried that grouper. He got hooked for a good little minute. He kept wanting me to get that grouper, fried grouper. Oh, somebody got a drill tool outside. I said, what is that? I thought the boys had got a hold of some. Oh, Lord, they done put some shit in the little kiddie pool. All right, you guys. So I'm going to take my gloves off now. Because I can just toss the shrimp around with some uh, chopstick. I need some, uh, what you call these? I need some of these. These ones, big tweezers. I need some of these. All right, let's go. Outside. And fry some fish. What you doing, love? What you doing? Mm -hmm. Davion, are you still playing? Okay. Baby, it's not going to get dark right now. It's, it's going to be a couple hours before it get dark. Mommy won't let y'all stay outside in the dark anyway. They're building a shed next door. Um, stuff, uh, a, a building in your backyard that you put extra stuff in. Um, toys, a motorcycle, a lawnmower. A lawnmower is what you cut the grass with. Yeah. Yes, baby. All right, so I don't want to stack them because, huh? Huh, baby? Take your uh, shorts off, then go in the house. Dry your feet off. So I'm not going to stack them because I want them to be uh, covered. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Don't be showing them your underwear on camera, man. Let me show them your goodies. It's the closet. Watch out. Hot. Yes, so don't touch it. We're going to close it up. Let's go batter the shrimp. Go ahead. Go uh, take your shorts off and go in the house and get underwear. Clean underwear. Take a bath in a minute, okay? You okay, Javion? All right. Whew. All right. So now... I do the shrimps. Same thing. I might put a little, uh, a little extra batter on the shrimps so they can be really crispy. I like my shrimp really crispy. And we're going to leave the tails on too because it already peeled. But we're going to leave the tails on. <sighs> Y'all, I'm out of breath. I've been getting out of breath. Love. I went to Walmart yesterday. Amir had a dent. Appointment. He had to get a tooth pulled. And we went to Walmart after. I was literally out of breath walking around. I'm like, damn, I'm only five months. Ain't no way I feel like this already. Sis, what is going to happen when you eight, nine months? Like, you cannot be breathing like this already. Okay. And shake this up. Let me just go and drop these shrimps in here. Damn, I should have brought that pan back in here because I sure need it. Now I need it. I mean, it's outside. I can't trust the kids to bring it in. Eric outside talking. Brandon taking a nap. Fruit at work. So <laughs> it's just me. It's just me. I got to do everything. Grandma eating. And I'm scared she going to drop it. Hell. Let me put the camera down, first of all. First off, fuck your in the click you claim. So I'm just like giving the shrimps a toss by their tail, moving it to the side. 
I don't know what kind of shrimps these are. Eric bought them. He be buying all kind of shrimp sometimes. We ain't really specific on that. Me personally, I like tiger shrimp. Cause they big, juicy, and they taste good. Sometimes shrimp can't, certain type of shrimp can taste fishier than other kind. Like straight out the water. I don't like them kind of shrimps. And again, this is just um, zatarins and extra cornmeal just to make it a little bit more crispy, you guys. So it already has flavor in the um, the batter itself. So I didn't add no extra seasoning. But to your liking, you know, if you like mad seasoning on your food, then add you some extra seasoning, sis. Or fellas. I honestly don't have a lot of dudes tuned in to my channel like that. It'd be a lot of women, which I like that better anyways. She doesn't know, Chelsea. Oh, somebody must have asked what I'm having. I don't know yet. My mom's planning me a gender reveal. So when you guys see that vlog up, then you know that I know because I do not know yet. I'm so eager to know. I'm getting impatient with her. Mom, you be watching my videos. If you watch this, I'm, I'm ready to know, you know. I'm ready to know what it is so I can start buying stuff and tell the family so they can start getting stuff. Here come Papa Eric. I hear the door. You all right? Mm -hmm. She outside eating. Oh, she, she took it outside? Yeah, she ate half later. I told her just say the other half. She tried to give me some. I was like, no, Grandma, you eat it. Yeah, you eat it. Uh, yeah, she, it like, she just right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brandon must be in his room napping. Okay, I ain't know he left for night. He got he got a nap for the weekend. That's what it is. But he ain't been taking no naps after work. But it is the weekend. He got to be ready for the night. You already from? Yes. Okay. You got a pan to put everything up? Yes, it's outside. I actually need to go get it so I can put these shrimps on there. Okay. When I get done coating them. A mirror in there? I think a mirror in there. I don't know what he doing. No, somebody has to take him out. What you doing? A lot of clothes, y'all. Put your clothes on. Now, somebody has to check it out the car. Oh, no. I need one. Okay. Come on, man. Get dressed. With the, uh, with napkin on it. You want? Yep. <sighs> After that done, you should go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Hey, mom. I know. <laughs> you can, Grandma. If you want to. The one in there is clean. I run, I run the dishwasher earlier. Mm -hmm. Take out and put on the counter. Yeah. Yeah. Put them on. Yeah, just take them out. Put them on the table. Or table. Yeah, put them on the table. Yeah, put them, yes, ma'am. And I know that that highlight bling. Uh, still wet, huh? Still wet? Yeah. Um, here, put it, I'll use this one. If it's still wet. Yeah, this one. Yeah. That can, here, can thank you. my charge outside. Oh, are y'all saying congratulations? Congratulate, we'll be congratulating for y'all. I'm looking now. What's up? What was said? I missed it. Eric was talking to me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do this. I'm just being real complicated right now. I could just put it in, just give it a little shaky, shaky, and toss it around, but I'm, I'm, I'm being extra, ain't I? Anybody on here listen to that new future? I listened to a couple songs. I need to listen to the whole thing. Let me put it there. See, that's why we need to, that's why you need that Verizon service. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Good. Hello. They can't hear you, Eric.
<laughs> he walking through the house. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's up, boo? Come here. Um, you need to take a shower first. You can't just put clothes on. Put your the clothes you had on that's outside on the bench. Put those back on. What is that? Spider-Man? Put that back on. And then when you take a shower, you put something else on. You can't just put take that off and put clean clothes on. You done been outside and in that water. No, sir. Mirror changed his clothes throughout the day more than me. Okay, y'all. I'm almost done. Got her in the shrimp. Go outside, check on this fish real quick. No, he in the room sleeping. He went to work earlier today. He take a nap so he can go party tonight. Check on these kids. You got it? Get out, boo. was supposed to put it on. So anytime we take the food out the oven or off the grill, we always put the foil over the pan first so that it's easy clean up. Or you just take the foil out and just don't get dirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, I've been hella country. <laughs> Amir, close that door for mommy. Okay. Thank you. Put you get your towel, Jay. Take get your towel. Huh? Yeah. Damn, that wind blowing out. Damn, we don't want that. Hey y'all. Um, I need something heavy to go on here. Fuck. Yeah, so just lay that like that. Put your towel around you, babe, so you can be warm. Fucking wind. The wind is not working with me. It's working against me. Just take him in the house. No, baby, don't leave it out here. Y'all see how they looking? Okay, go in your room and grab some clothes. So we got to leave these in some more. They got to cook some more. They got to get more golden than this. More crispier than this, okay? Dry your feet off. That's why you have a towel. Huh? It's magic. What's magic? Let me move this from right here and put it by the fire place. Yes. Go in the house, baby, before you get sick. You're going to get sick out here. Go in the house, put some clothes on because you're wet. Go put some dry clothes on. Then you can come back outside and play, okay? All right, you guys, so um, the heat is on like three, it's between 325 and 375, so that's about 345, right? Mmm, so I'm gonna just give them a little flip. Yeah, because the other side, is, okay, so yeah, let me tell y'all why, show y'all why. Because the other side, you see, I just flipped them two. Them two got that little darker look to it. So we're gonna uh, flip them and hopefully don't break them in the process.
damn spoke too soon i broke it damn damn there we go i need to pick them up like that so let's grab it like this damn fuck that one up too do not judge me okay hey somebody was in my comments judging how i cook my last video don't like it don't tune in so all i got to say because my family gonna eat and we gonna eat good and it's gonna taste good every trip and if it tastes nasty i'll tell y'all i think i done cooked something nasty before and told y'all it was nasty i don't remember what it was but it was in another video so y'all see how that looks gold now that's how we um want all of them to look okay so we're gonna let that happen for a little while longer so i'm gonna set this here let's take this and go grab them shrimps Go get the go get those pants outside that you had on that you took off the gray ones and put them pants back on so because you, you gotta take a shower huh outside the pants you had on there outside go put them on no leave that on just go get the pants what's up dude i'm i'm cooking you're gonna eat some fish and you're gonna eat some shrimp and some grits. Ooh, that sounds yummy. I know, it's so yummy, huh? This good. Yes, baby. Three days. Yep, and some biscuits. Four days. Yes, and you can eat all of it. Wait, what's biscuits? Biscuits, like what we eat for breakfast sometimes. What's your color boy? Can I check it? No. Uh, Say hey to YouTube. Hi. So Amir got his tooth pulled out. That's why that thing is hanging out his mouth. Is to um, keep him from biting his lip because his mouth was numb. And he was chewing on his lip yesterday when I didn't have the gauze on. And it created like some irritation. His lip swelled up. But he kept doing this. Huh? Javion, no. The dry pants, the gray ones, the pants you wore to sleep. Amir, go outside and get them gray pants for Javion that he had on. He had on them gray pants and a blue shirt. Go get the gray pants and give it to him and tell him to put them on. He found it? Yes, yes, those. But yeah, he um got a tooth pulled and he got a space in it and his mouth was numb, so yeah. Right, everybody cooked different. They were trying to get on me about my cornbread. My cornbread came out good as fuck. Huh? Your yeah, who? I don't know. Baby, I don't know. Oh, your money. Mommy put it up in her room. I took it. I put it up so you won't lose it. It's in my room on the dresser if you go in there and look, okay? Amir, come open this door for me. I do. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I can't go through there with you right there like that. Close it for me, too. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm trying to be superwoman right now. Carry fish and do this. I think I need to put the fish fryer sideways. Go get it. You can chill out here with me. <laughs> it feels good outside today, don't it? Let me sit the phone down real quick. Y'all need to move. Huh? You eat shrimp. Yes, you do, because I cooked shrimp since you've been here and you ate it. How you don't like them anymore, but you ate it up not too long ago? 
you can't just change your mind like that about food. It's either you eat it, you eat, or you don't, you don't. I don't eat cheese, and I never eat it. I don't change my mind. It's always the same. You can't change it. You already showed me that you like it when I cooked it. When I made the pasta, you ate all them shrimps and sausage out of it. Show y'all progress. Here's what we looking like. Now I'm just gonna let this side cook for a little bit and then we're gonna drop the rest of the, fr the fish in there and the shrimps. And I got my little napkins prepped over here. And then probably when I drop this next batch with the shrimp, I'm gonna go in and start prepping the grits. Show y'all how I cook my grits. Um, like I said, we from the South, so fish and grits is like the norm. That's like, you know, most people do like fish and fries or fish and tater tots, like fish and grits is a, is a, is a go-to for us. And then um, some people do like shrimp and grits for breakfast, you know? Ariana and everybody who's commenting about that, I just feel like YouTube in general, I really feel like that gives people social media. Let's say social media, not YouTube, but particularly YouTube because I can post on my Facebook, I can post on my Instagram, but YouTube, people are really overly opinionated. I can't say why. That's just how society is now. Like society is very overly opinionated. I'm not offended or anything because I'm still going to cook it my way and do things how I want but I've been had people say negative comments on my channel and comment negative things I don't erase it I leave it there sometimes I might reply to it sometimes I don't but I think it's particularly funny because that that the people who were saying negative stuff about my food they weren't talking like bad bad or nothing like that but I've had people comment on my videos like more in a sense like they don't like me like in in, in, that, in that fashion I'm like why are you watching like you're so, you have all these negative opinions about me and I need to stay off YouTube and I need to stop doing this. Like, why are you watching my channel? Don't you know you're giving my channel views right now, That which is what I want and need? You know what I'm saying? So thank you, sis. Just keep not liking, but keep watching at the same time. Like, it's, that's, that's very weird because me, I'm not finna, first of all, I'm not finna follow somebody that I'm not feeling. Second of all, I'm not finna follow them and comment on their stuff. Like, I'm just not gonna be looking at your shit. Like, that's that's super weird. Those are, that's like weirdo vibes to me. That's like, I will never understand that. That's super weird. But that's how the world is now, you know? I'm only gonna genuinely follow people that, the content I wanna see, you know? uh right but that's that's you know somebody posted a uh a guy posted a video i can't remember who it was like, i think it was a comedian it was like sis you got 12 haters this summer you need to have 16 by the end like it's okay it's okay to have haters you guys it's not an issue i'm probably sure i got more people that love me than haters and you know haters is just part of the game i can only imagine how people that are up in a game like celebrities and especially like think about Instagram influencers you know stuff like that how opinionated people are about them but trust me I have my opinions too but I'm not I'm a pillow talk about it to like my friends and my man but I'm not gonna be under comments you know saying shit you know because everybody has their opinion you know we all talk negative in some light and so you got some people out there that's just straight positive you know but even if I'm gonna say my negative piece and speak my opinion it's not finna be on social media, you know? If I feel like, damn, why she always shaking her ass on camera? Why all these Instagram influencers doing this? Like, that's just what that is, and I leave it there, but I'm not finna go under the shade room comments and be like, look at her twerking again. Like, for what? For what? Too many people out here already doing that for me. So you know how, you, you know what you're doing. You know you twerking. And half the time, just like, I don't care, them people don't care. So why I'm gonna speak my opinion? Let's take the fish out, you guys. You know, you got, when we, we ended our friendship in peace, you know what I'm saying? But social media caused so much commotion that it caused unnecessary drama. And people were telling me, like, my name was being said about this and that. And I never spoke nothing negative, still never said nothing negative, even when I could say a lot. 
I could say a lot, you know, I was around the scene a lot and I never said nothing, but that's just social, that's social media for you, you know, but that's not my type of energy. You guys been around me, some of y'all been following me since I started my channel in what, 2018? Y'all know that ain't my energy. I, re I rarely say anything negative. Most negative thing I'm gonna do is cuss, if that. And I try to keep that down just because I be around my kid. show y'all mm. them the pieces that broke but they still edible <laughs> they still edible they still gonna get ate up i promise you don't nobody let me tell you something y'all know how y'all put food in tupperware and it just get old in the refrigerator that shit don't happen here if we put in the tub where it's gonna get eight boy food get ate up next day you go in the tub or you be like dang what a such and such <laughs> dang what a such and such at? Like, oh don't let my especially my brother boy my brother the king of that shit you put some food up brandon come home drunk and we grown y'all my brother 23 now brandon come home drunk and high bro gonna come, go in that refrigerator at three in the morning and eat whatever up in there and it's so funny because fruit and air you know they make their lunch for work the next day so he'll go in there and eat their stuff up and i so now i start telling like bro i'll text him I'm like don't eat this 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 that's in the fridge that's for fruit lunch like i gotta give him a warning because he'll go in there and smash gotta love him the little brothers y'all been around him too shit since the beginning y'all seen brandon before he was legal to do anything was that a dog? Oh, that's a man sneezing. He heard me. I don't know what that was. That was a weird ass sneezing. Javion, come look at my fish. Does it look yummy? Come look at it. Does it, does it look yummy? Watch out, it's hot. Watch out, watch out. I smell it, smells good. Thank you. It looks like chicken nuggets. It's not chicken nuggets though, baby. Okay, don't eat it thinking that's what it is. <laughs> So y'all, I think what it is because so um with my accent, um, I want y'all thinking like why is she talking like that. So and at, when you when you get around family, you cut some people like let's say I'm in a nail shop and I'm talking to like a, a I'm in a Vietnamese owned nail shop and all the workers are Vietnamese, I'm tend to talk more with that accent, like an Asian accent. You know, and I'm around my family in the house. You know, it's just I'm at home. You get what I'm saying? So it brings that out of me. If y'all, um, if y'all, oh, when I used to smoke, I can't read that right now. When I when I get around my dad's side of the family, it's worse because that's that's my black side. Like it's like because everybody talk like that. You got not. It's so funny because if you if y'all ain't used to a southern accent, mine's not even that crazy strong. But if y'all hear fruit family talk, man, y'all would not understand what them folks be saying. Like, they talk so country. Like, dirt road, clay road country. Like, you got to really be from the South to know what they saying. Look at my triple bag. Your who? My triple bag. Cool. I see, baby. I see. Like cool. But, yeah, so that's. I think that's what that is. Like, you know, if y'all hear my mom talk. My mama Asian. You see how her mama look. And my mama do not talk Asian. She talk like how I talk. You know, so it's just, it comes out of you when you in your comfort zone, you know. But at the same time, when it's time for me to step into a different type of shoe, and I got to put that professional voice on, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? That, uh, what do you call people who answer phones? That type of voice. I put that on too. But if I'm around coworkers, you know. I don't know. She was just in the kitchen washing dishes. I just took them out. You'll take them in for me? I'll come back and get it when I need it. I, you, you'll take it in here. I don't want it to get cold out here. Put it in the oven. <laughs> hey, uh, Hope Stevens. Hey, everybody that's tuned in late. Y'all see from the title what we cooking. I already took a bat batch of um, fish out. Now I am... Um, There we go. Now I'm now I'm dropping these in. Yeah, it's funny because like I remember when I was in the army, right? And I had this friend. She was from up north. Her name was Janice. And um she had that whole New York thing going on. And she when I would like when we got in AIT, 
I would talk to my family, like my dad and them. She was like, how you know what they saying? Because they're more country than me. That joint used to be so funny to me. Even the lingo. Like, y'all, that's like lingo. Southern lingo and northern lingo. Like, the lingo is different. Even here in Texas, like, how me and Brandon talk and fruit talk and the things we say, like, they don't talk like that down here. They don't use the same. When I say lingo, I don't know if all y'all know what that means, but that means slang. Like, their slang is different down here. Hey, Lisa, how would you handle a situation with a female beefing with you because you took up for some little kids? Why would someone beef with you because you took up for kids? First of all, that's that sounds cuckoo. I need to... What's the details on that, sis? What's the deets? Spill the beans. Jamaican, the best world we born. <laughs> Wagwan. <laughs> I had a homeboy, he was a uh, Jamaican and he would talk and talk good and, and have like that accent. I loved it. That's like a very, especially the women, that's a very sexy accent. First of all, why are we beefing about you take taking up for kids? Like, you got a problem with kids, sis? Show my nails. Hold on. Here are my my one hand nails and they glow in the dark. They bomb as fuck. These glow like glow glow. Mom. Mom. Huh, baby? I, who put you in shackles and chains? I know. <laughs> you don't know. Huh? Why okay. Why did you lead the army? So if y'all didn't know, have me have I ever told y'all the army? My army? <laughs> did something fly in my nose? Did y'all see that? <laughs> what the what? It's you! I feel like something flew in there, Amir. All right, I need to put the lid on this, let it fry. What? So, story time. Quick story time. Army. Why am I not in the army no more? So, I did four and a half years in the military. Story time. Story time. I did four and a half years in the military. I was army. Um, I was in the army. Uh, I joined when I was. Hey, watch that cord, man. Watch that cord. Cause guess what? You hit that cord and this fall, that shit, that's gonna, that's gonna burn, baby. Okay. Back to story time. But uh, I did four and a half years. I joined went straight out of high school. I did ROTC, ROTC in high school all four years. So, um, I went into the army with rank. I was a E3 when I joined. And, um, let's see, I joined, I did, I did my, you know, my, uh, basic training in AIT. And then I got stationed in Fort, uh, shit, uh, Savannah in Hinesville, Georgia. I can't, this is sad. I can't even remember what it's called, but I got stationed there. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, it's it's so crazy, you guys, because literally, when you when you leave the ar get out the army and go from AIT to your duty station, there's no stopping to go home. So I literally got off the plane in my uniform with my duffel bags with all my gear in it and shit. You know, my few personal items that I have because you can't have a lot of personal stuff. But um, so I get off the plane, I get on this. Uh, I took a taxi to go to the sign-in desk they have for. The in processing soldiers, the in process, the in the in processing soldiers, um, which is the soldier that's getting in process to be to be stationed there. And he looked at my orders and he was like, "Oh, you were Fort Brigade. You guys deployed um in July. Keep in mind, this is the end of May. So I'm I literally just fresh out of AIT, lining that. Oh my God, in a month and a half, I'm finna deploy to Iraq. So um, fast forward." And this the crazier part was my unit. I didn't get to meet them. They all was in California training for Iraq because you got to go through a special training. And I had to go through one week of training in Fort Leonard Wood. That's what it's called. I had to go to one through one week of training in Fort Leonard Wood, was, which was basically all simulators. Because the training they did in uh, California was like they're really driving in the trucks and they're... they're people dressed up acting like they're attacking them and stuff like that so you can be you know ready for those situations and i had to go through simulator training right so um boom fast forward july comes i deployed to iraq i'm 18 years old scared as fuck next month i turned 19 i did 13 months over there 
Um, so that was 2010 because I joined the Army winter of 2009, got a basic training in, in 2010, deployed 2010. No, right. No, no, so no, 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 no. the beginning of 2011, like the first, the couple, first couple months of the year, I can't remember what month it happened. I know it was after January, though. Uh, we was in a convoy. A convoy is when all the trucks are lined up, riding through, you know, riding through where we were lying through. It's called a convoy. So we were in a convoy, and my truck, I was in, I'm in the lead truck, and I was a gunner. So if you guys follow me on uh, Face Instagram, my Instagram and stuff is in my bio stuff. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all see pictures of me like in my truck. I used to drive and ride in and you'll see me with the little gunners, uh, the gunners thing on. And I was a gun because I was fired with that rifle, y'all. I, I could shoot real good. Huh, baby? It's like a, it's called uh, a truck. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go wipe your nose, son. It looks very nasty. But um, I was gunning. I was gunning that day. And uh, you can go through that way if the door's not locked. I was gunning and we're on a mission, you know, riding. It's a regular, it's a reg, it's a regular day. It's daytime because sometimes we go to at night, and you know I'm in the gunner's hatch. You got this little thing that you move to move you around. So the gunner's hatch, it basically think of a, a Humvee. No, think of a Hummer, a big a big souped up Hummer, and think of a hole at the top, and it has like this nest over you like this. They call it a, a nest or whatever. They got the nest over you, and you got this little controller thing. It looked like a it looked like an old school Atari, y'all, and it moves you side to side. Because it's four gunners in the convoy. A gunner facing front, a gunner facing right, a gunner facing left, and a gunner facing rear. Mm -hmm. Go wipe your nose, baby. It's nasty. And I'm in the front facing rear, so I'm looking from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. That's my, that's my point. I'm looking from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. So I'm looking, I'm scanning, and the, sh the shit happened so fast, y'all. It was like, boom, like... You couldn't, I, you, like, I didn't, I, it happened fast, y'all. It was like a big boom. And then when the boom happened, and you have your driver, you know, you're going to have a a, 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 high, a higher up, and it's going to be a sergeant or a lieutenant sitting in the passenger seat. You're going to have your gunner and a gunner's hatchet, and then you're going to have your AG, which is your assistant gunner. The assistant gunner, to assist, he basically assists, her, he or she basically assists everybody in the truck, whether they need a drink or if the gunner needs something like more ammo or whatever so you have the gunner's vest it's like black and it's kind of made like an x going across your body it goes between your legs if you guys as a kid ever did um rock climbing it's kind of made like those things and it has his tail hanging from your butt so my ag when it happened he pulled me down really fast he did his job his name was um webster his last name was webster i can't remember his first name Damn, I can't remember his first name. But anyway, his last name was Webster. He pulled me down. And, um, of course, the whole convoy had to stop. And you got comms on. You got your helmet on. And then you got the, the intercom on because we have to communicate with each other. So all the trucks came. Like, for that when that moment happened, like, I kind of black. I didn't black out, but my vision blacked out. Like, I didn't black out like I passed out, but, like, I couldn't see nothing. And then it was just black. And then when I found, I told you, go wipe your nose. And I done told you a couple times. It's the weekend. Tonight you're supposed to stay up late. But I got to tell you again, you're going to bed. So, um, so my, I was, I, I, my vision was black. And then I started, when I did, my vision started coming back. I started seeing like color lights and my ears were ringing because the boom, you got to think I'm outside. I'm kind of outside of the truck. So I heard it so loud you know and um it kind of like rocked me a little bit or whatever and so it happened and then they had to pull around us and secure the area and stuff let us get out of our truck because when it happened it is it, it dysfunction our truck we couldn't drive it no more um i was in this truck called a mine roller i don't feel like explaining that to y'all but it's basically a truck that finds mines it detects the mine before you get to it so the mine won't blow us up we got hit with the ied which is a man-made iraqi bomb and um so the other trucks came around us. We had to hop into another gunner's truck, go to the nearest FOB. A FOB is basically where the army people are at over there. They call it FOBs or whatever. Just think of it like a military base. And then um, once we got there, we all got checked out. And it was so crazy because even though I was scared, even though it happened, I felt fine once um, everything started coming back around and stuff like that. Like I didn't feel like, oh my God, I don't feel good. I feel dizzy. I'm up. You know, I felt fine. But probably a couple days later, I had a seizure. Keep in mind, I never had seizures prior to this. Never had any 
serious health issues like ever. I done sprained my wrist a couple times. I ain't never even broke a bone, you know. So I had a seizure in Iraq. Think medical is different. We don't have the all the high tech medical stuff. It's shit is basic over there. So when they when I um when we got back to our fob a couple days later, I had seizure and um they thought I just passed out from the heat and stuff. I had probably like two more seizures in our rat from the time we took from that from that moment until we got back to the states, which we got back late July going into August because my birthday was coming up. And then when we got to the states, I remember I had a seizure and somebody witnessed it and they was like Lisa having seizures because they was like, oh, I was shaking and stuff like that. So, um, long story short, I got all these tests done and. They, they ran tests on me for like over a year, and that's why I'm not in the Army no more. So technically, I am medically retired out the Army, even though I didn't serve 20 years. Um, like, I have a retirement ID. I get benefits. Amir get benefits. You know, whoever my future husband, he's get benefits. My school going to go to kids, all that. So I'm thankful. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that shit was scary. Like, I didn't, like whoever said, I did not sign up for this. My recruiter lied to me. <laughs> Recruiters do that too. Them niggas lie. Let me tell y'all something so funny about my recruiter, right? So when you, when those of you that don't know, when you, um, when you sign up for the army, you basically, they basically ask you like what, uh, you take the ASVAB and you, whatever score you make, it determines, open that door for me and then close it when I come back out. Open it up. All right. Now, now close it. But, um, when you take the ASVAB test, that ASVAB will determine what kind of job you can get. So I was able to get like, have you had? Oh, yes, I have seizures. I've had seizures since I've been with Fruit. He's witnessed it about two, three times. But um, the ASVAB determines what job you get. So I had like three different jobs and a uh, truck driving. I thought was going to be cool. And my recruiter was like, oh, you a truck driver? He was like, you know, you a girl. Most likely you just going to be driving for your lieutenant or somebody higher up, something like that bruh i got to iraq i was a whole gunner and i went to iraq a month a month later from one from the time of me getting to my duty station like i was so mad i did not sign up for this i ain't getting no sign up bonus. i should have got a sign up bonus for that thank you sarah for trying to get them likes up for me girl y'all shrimp don't take long i'm taking the shrimps out but yeah i'm um i take medication you know if y'all have anything any one of your family or have ever, if anybody is diagnosed with seizures, I take Capra, you know, amongst some other medications. You know, I've got been diagnosed with PTSD because my I was I was jacked up when I came back, especially when it came to driving. Like I could not drive in the states like I like like a normal person. It took me a little minute, huh? Okay, baby. Okay, baby. So yeah. That's my story time, you guys, with um, with the army. Some of it, baby. Ow. What? I, I got it, Grandma. What, baby? Yes, baby. I'm finna come in the house. I gotta cook grits. So it's so funny when people meet me, you know, people, everybody judges a book box cover. Not everybody, but a lot of people do. And they'd be so surprised what I went through, huh? Yes, baby. This is what's for dinner. So, of course, you're going to taste it. You can have as many as you want, Amir, till you get full. Yes, son. But it's hot right now. Then mommy finished cooking it. Okay. Go sit down. No in and out, because there's flies out here, and you're going to get a fly in the house. And pop. Who is block eight, Black Alien? Uh-oh, somebody done did something in the comments. All right, you guys, I'm going to drop these last shrimps. But yeah, you guys, now y'all know, you know, a little bit of my army history. 
The army in itself is a is a f up place, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you, especially for women, young women. They prey on you. They prey on you like you fresh meat. It's sad. I seen it. I feel sad for women who don't have morals or have no self respect. What they go through, like it's a real thing, man. Married men, sergeants, first sergeants, they don't care. You fresh meat. Can't get me. I'm a snitch. I'll tell. Ain't finna get me uh, kicked out or ranked out. So crazy. Another story time with that. When I was in AIT, if y'all don't know what AIT is, when um when you get out of basic training for the army, you go to AIT, which is where you learn your job. And um in AIT, it's a little more lenient. It's not as strict and. You know, they don't, they don't, it's not like basic training. It's a little more lenient, you know, and I'm not going to go into the details of the difference of the two with the leniency and stuff, but, and, uh, I remember it was a young lady, sergeant. It was a sergeant. He was a sergeant first class, married with kids. And, um, uh, it was a young lady who got caught with her phone. When we went to, we was allowed to have cell phones, but when we went into training for the day we weren't supposed to have phones can y'all hear me with that loud ass fucking plane we weren't supposed to have phones and um so this young lady brought her phone decided to bring her phone into training and we're in formation formations when you're lined up and she got caught on it right so they took her phone was it legal for them to go through her phone i have no idea what made them go through her phone i also don't know but so when I was in AIT, you had big truck and baby truck. Baby truck were the fresh people coming in from basic training. Big truck were the people who were about to graduate. And this particular girl was in big truck. So apparently this sergeant. Hey. Huh? What's wrong? Oh. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, you can take it in. Thank you. But um, apparently, this particular sergeant uh, was letting a lot of soldiers do a lot of shit. So at nighttime, when it was time for us to go to bed, of course, you have different levels of the building. The women are on the bottom and the males are on the top, the second floor. And you have these doors. Think of it like a high school almost. And you have these doors that can go to the office and you have doors that go to the stairwell that take you up the stairs well at night they lock those doors so you only can go into each other's room as far as females in the bathroom which was just one big open bathroom so this sergeant unbeknownst to baby truck he would unlock the doors at a certain time so that people from big truck can come into the sergeant's hallway which had probably like four bay rooms in his office and he'll let them come in there and the guys would come down and a lot of stuff was happening, y'all. I'm talking about there were soldiers leaving and going to clubs. Liquor was being involved. A lot of sexual activity. Like, it was crazy. So, um, when it all happened, like, so many of us had to get in and get questioned. So, of course, a lot of us who were in baby truck, we was like, we don't know what's going on because we're fresh out of basic training. We still scared of sergeants and NCOs and stuff. We don't know the reality of what goes on in the Army yet. So, um when we got asked a lot of us was like you know no none of us do that when it's time when this lights out time to go to bed we going to bed we're not getting out our truck because you know you have a fire guard which means somebody's walking the hallways you know we're scared we're gonna get caught from fire guard so yeah that sergeant he got caught he has the girl had so many messages in her phone with with the sergeant's number and he got um uh, what is it called? It's, it's uh, when you get discharged out the army for a bad reason. He got discharged out the army like that, that kind of way. And, you know, his wife had to come up there and he had a kid, a little girl. Like, it was sad. You know, it was crazy how that happened. Happened. But, like, that's a common thing, you know, like in the army. Like, huh? Okay, ask Papa to get you something to drink because I have to wash this food. Okay, well, baby, you got to wait till somebody's free to do it. So yeah, it's 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 really crazy, you guys. Dishon, thank you, T Foss. Close the door. 
but dishonorable discharge, you know, it's really crazy. So, you know, if you have any like younger sibling, sister, cousin or whatever, you know, that's trying to join, like just give them that pet talk and be careful, you know, because it's, it's really crazy what goes on. And then once I seen that and once I got to my duty station, it got even crazier. Like as soon as I got there, like they were praying on me. You could tell like it, it's, it's disgusting because when you're in basic training, you look up to your NCO, which is a non-commissioned officer, which are sergeants first, you know, sergeant first class and so forth. You look up to these men and women, you know what I'm saying? Then you learn how they conduct themselves and how they act and you don't even look at them the same no more. It's crazy. Oh, Lord, I see a comment talking about something. We're not talking about that, y'all. Hmm? It's not broke. You just put your charger in it. Why would you be like this? I don't know, baby. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to flip my fish. Don't flip the fish! You are Mmm, this one came out pretty. So that's how I want all of them to look like that golden. This one's golden, but it's still light skin. We don't want no light skin. We want golden. Light skin and golden is two different things. We want this fish to have a tan, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Grandma in the cut. <laughs> Platinum gold. You right, boot. I got that from my boo, y'all. He say that. He be like, he don't want no light-skinned food. He be like, Lisa, what color am I? <laughs> he don't like no light-skinned meat. So we just flipping those so they all can look like that, okay? I don't let people bring situations up to make me feel bad about myself. I don't I don't be stunned that sis and you shouldn't either. It's all leaves under the wind for me. Oh, good suggestion. Um, it's curly hair gang. So y'all see how it's looking? That's how I like I mean that's me personally. You know, if you like light skinned fish, nothing wrong with it, you know, but I like my fish a little a little golden. And the shrimps definitely gotta cook a little longer because this is what they're looking like so just food for thought guys something about me and i think sarah punched on that if i if i have somebody in my comments you know asking me the same question it's in a and i and i not and it's like it's like getting asked a lot and i super obviously don't answer it's for a reason i'm purposely ignoring it i'm sorry to tell you that but i am I'm not finna acknowledge it. So we're gonna let those cook a little more. Huh? Here I come, baby. Okay. Come on. Bring that towel in the house of mirror. So these are the biscuits we're cooking today. If you guys ever been to Red Lobster, um, Uh, what I was trying to say, uh, Cheddar Bay, that's what they're called. They're normally like the Cheddar Bay, but Eric bought this kind, which is new and I never had it. So we're going to try this. What's up, baby? Why you bring that in? Well, thank you. Thank you, my little helper. Oh, you muscle man. Let me feel it. Let me see. Oh, oh. And you're going to put it where it go? Boy, I, I taught you well. I taught you well. Look at you. Thank you, baby. Let me see your muscle. Boy, you strong, boy. That's what I'm talking about. You is strong, my strong man. Is that dirt? That's not dirt. That's, that's a batter. He probably was messing with you. Whose cup is this? This is mine. Here, drink this water. That's what you need anyway. Water. 
Amir has grown so much, you guys, since you first seen him. He was like literally a baby. Literally. Let me see. 18. 21. Amir was two. two. Yes, Amir was two, y'all. When when y'all first met Amir and me, Amir was two, you guys. My baby was two years old. And he is finna be seven. Mm, okay. Wow. Yes, honey. I didn't write my name on the cup this time. But that's my cup. Um, I don't know where the permanent marker is at. You gotta find it. Kids. Yes, baby. Okay, go get it, baby, and write it. L I S A. But um, kids, close that door. <clears throat> okay, baby. But yeah, okay, babe. But yeah, um, kids grow up. I just, I'm so ready to see him with his little brother or sister and like how he's gonna be. Cause he's, if y'all can't tell now, he's so sweet and helpful. He's always been like that. Amir has his moments like any other kid, but I swear to God, majority of the time my kid is like so sweet. Huh? L I S A. <laughs> I used to put my bike mark, but we have plastic cups, and I always write my my name on mine with a sharpie. Okay, let me put the water on for these grits. Let's cook the grits, you guys. Cause you need a marker. That's a pen. Yeah. Okay, baby. Amir, go in my room and go go on my on my dresser and get that thing I be putting my phone on. That black thing. Huh? I gotta make a uh, a big pot of grits. So my mom has this pot filler, guys, which is so dope to me. Bam. No, baby, the black thing that the phone go in to hold my phone. So I'm gonna let my water get to a boil first. And then we're gonna need butter and salt. That's all I put in my grits, y'all. Yeah, my mom is getting older and her hands are starting to hurt. So um, she didn't want to have to carry pots of water from the sink to the stove, which is why she put that in her home. Okay, honey, bring it here. Oh, and uh, black pepper. Because everybody grits don't like grits the same. You know, like I don't like cheese. So I don't put cheese in my grits. So at the end, once I get mine, I'll put cheese in it for everybody else. Eric likes garlic in his, like garlic salt. Me and Brandon like cre like creamy kind of wet grits and Eric like thick grits. So yes, honey, thank you. So it's just we got <laughs> we got a house full of people who eat different. I'm a helper. You are a great helper. Do you know that? So we have butter, salt, and pepper. You need this for your thing. That's for Fruits Apple Watch. Okay, so, oh, sorry. I'm going to go have one of these take the cook. So, these are honey butter biscuits. So, you just made, huh? My favorite color? I have three favorite colors. Black, gold, and red. Okay, so I need to get some honey because it says for more honey flavor, add two tablespoons of honey. We want more honey flavor. And then you have to have add a cup of butter and it has a honey butter pouch, which probably goes on top of it. Huh? Find what, babe? It's just here. I see it. Oh, you are absolutely right. So we got our honey. 
And I gotta put the oven on 425. So it's on 425. Oh, huh? No, you don't have a black one. So it's saying add half a cup of shredded cheese for the classic red lobster taste, but we're gonna do it this way. And you guys, to me, honestly, because I've been buying this for a while, if you use Bisquick, I feel like you could follow the instructions on the Bisquick thing and just add your own cheese and make a garlic butter sauce and it'll be kind of the same. Because the, the the biscuit dough can't be too much from regular biscuit dough. Like, it, the biscuit dough tastes like, if you don't put the butter stuff on, like when you bake these, if you ever did this, you put the butter stuff on and the garlic stuff on top after. It, before you do that, it just tastes like regular biscuit. So just add, so if you got Bisquick at home, add some cheese to it, make you a little garlic butter sauce and put it on top. And we got the same thing. Hey, Queen K. We gotta go take this fish out the um the grease. Amir, I need you to come get the door for me. Thank you, baby. Be ready to eat. He's like, is it done? <laughs> I ain't even cooked the other stuff yet. What's up, dude? I don't know what is the baby Jesus. You don't know what? <clears throat> baby Jesus. Baby Jesus? What are you talking about? What did, what did you hear that at? Mm, oh, on Rugrats? Uh-huh. Well, we'll talk about it, okay? It's not my water name. No. That's just, that's, we'll talk about it. Wait, wait, I was looking for this one. How did you find that one? How did you find what, babe? That one. There's, there's two. Yeah? I like, I like one of those. Okay. What, what, what happened to it? Is Take that, that in the house. Dirty, like, Take it in the house, honey. Why is it messy and dirty? Because you forgot. Wait, what did you try to put this in the fire? I didn't try to put that in the fire. Okay. Close the door so the bugs won't come in there. <clears throat> she worked 12 hours. <clears throat> Mom? Yes, babe. None of my muffins came like on the <clears throat> on your cup. Remember what? I said. Grandma, call uh call Auntie Joyce on your phone. Auntie Joyce? Mm hmm You got her number, right? Yeah, I do one time. Okay. Huh? No, I'm not call. Okay. Huh? She called my phone, but I record. I can't I can't stop record. Huh? Hmm? Okay, so right now. It was nice and mad, but we went chilly, huh? Yeah. Your bra so cute. I just don't uh, think that's her. That's my grandma, y'all, huh? I will tell you something. What's up, baby? So 
<laughs> okay, baby. So y'all got one more piece of fish. You, y'all. I can't read the comments yet because I'm trying to keep my eye on this grease because this last piece of fish is almost done, and I need to go back in and finish the grits and get these biscuits started. Because I want everyone to eat while it's hot. It's okay, honey. Okay. Open the door for mommy. Hot, 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 hot. Watch out, baby. Oh, thank you. Gentleman, boy. You, you are such a gentleman. Oh, Lord. What happened, Sarah? I see your comments, Sarah. What happened, sis? It's hot, though, baby. Watch out. Okay, let's get these biscuits started, y'all. Thank you. Thank you guys on the compliment about grandma. She's the Hi. sweetest. Hold on. Hi. <laughs> got butter. That I is like butter. I know. Don't you put your finger in my butter. What? This little boy like butter, bro. I want to eat some butter. I want some butter. I want some butter. I want some butter. Like what kid you know just like want to <clears throat> eat butter? Y'all remember that movie Life Size with Tyra Banks and um, was it Lizzie Lohan? I think it is. Yeah, she was eating the butter. That's Amir. He'll just eat butter. So we're gonna put the biscuit mix in a bowl. Don't you put don't you put biscuit in that butter. And then we're gonna add three fourth cup of water. Let me get the measuring cup. Mama, look. They said hello, Amir. And they said you're hello. Are, and they said you're so handsome. <laughs> handsome. Say I'm a handsome gentleman. Oh, here's some gentlemen. Is that right? So we're doing three-fourths cup of so water. That's a, that's a and then I'm going to add some extra honey. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to squeeze it in there. So that's probably about one tablespoon. Huh? I a two tablespoons. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. And I'm going to use this cake-like okay. spatula to kind of like stir it all. Hold on, y'all. Let me go. Hold on. Hey, Mom. Hmm? Look. Let's see. I'm doing it. Cool. Can I use this for my chips? Fish. You can wear this one. Okay. Hmm. Look. Okay. So I mix together until dough forms. Okay. Uh, I cook. I did. I'm gonna fry some fish. I'm gonna make the grits and then make these biscuits in the um, oven. Yeah. You give them here one. It's hot. All of them not hot. Amir. What's wrong, Grandma? Your mother called me too. I didn't know. Your mother that was at church. Oh yeah, they call. You can call her, but she she don't answer because she back working. Blanton, give me. Can you give me a strip of foil, please? Stop playing, bro. All right, come over there and snatch it up off me. Eat myself. Okay, y'all. So the dough has formed, and now we're gonna break it down into some portions on some foil. Hey, um, hey, girly. Hey, y'all. My water is boiling, so I need to drop these grits. Hey, bro, this is a big piece of food. Let me get I 
No, baby. If you want to. Baby, I can't, I can't, I really cannot hear you. What you said? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Y'all did not portion these right. Please don't get on me, okay? It dog. I thought I was gonna eat more than that, and I damn portion it right, but it's cool. What is wrong? They eat um in the oven. Let me finish cooking. Y'all gonna eat? Something's wrong, and they like, and they like, uh, like a fish, and they like, and they like smoke. Mm -hmm. Both of them coming down the bottom. Huh? Huh? Not a lot of pepper. Mmm. So I'm waiting for my clump of butter to melt and I'm gonna drop my grits in. And you guys, how I got rice tips, I do not know how to explain to you how to cook grits. Like, because you don't want them, you don't want too much grits and not enough you water. Go, go. <laughs> what you mean? She outside. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Eat that shit first. Put right around that food. Yeah. In the mirror, turn it off and go in y'all room and watch TV because I'm recording. Huh? She ain't gonna eat it. Oh. But I don't know. I can't explain to y'all how to uh, do the grits. Because, like, the grit to water ratio just has to be a certain way. And it's a personal preference. Like I said, me and Brandon, like, our grits a little more thinned out. Not liquidy, like, pouring. But Eric, like, his grits thicker. So, yeah. So, basically, I pour a little bit in. And then I give it a stir. And I can, when I stir it, I can feel it. <laughs> I cannot explain it to you. But when I give it a stir... Like, I can feel if that's enough or not. And, like, right now, that's enough. I don't need to pour no more in there. So, my heat was boiling. Now, I just turn the heat down and let it cook. You don't want to cook these fast. You want to cook slow. 
And these aren't the quick grits because you got some grits that are quick grits. You cook them in like five minutes, they'll be done. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna get these a little stir. Yeah, this is a good consistency. We're gonna eat dinner. And then I'm gonna come back and stir it some more so that it won't clump together. And um, which it shouldn't because you put the butter in there, but you know, to each his own, you know, everybody cook different, you guys. I'm gonna put the biscuits in the oven. Mm. Okay, the biscuits are in the oven. Now let's go check on the last remainder of that food. Everything should be done. Damn, I didn't want these boys to open the door for me. Close the door for me. <laughs> All right, you guys. Watch out, baby. Watch out. Grease hot, 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 honey. It's so funny. Huh? Grandma, she on the way. You heard me, Grandma? Huh? She coming. What Auntie Joyce. Whoa! All right, you guys. Everything is done from the grease. Let's cut this grease off. Finish cooking everything else. So I'm, gonna eat. I'm gonna eat on camera. Y'all can watch me smash. Okay, y'all. Yes. Somebody open door for mama. Come on. <laughs> open the door. Quit playing. It's heavy. My bad, y'all. Y'all done probably heard this the most. Y'all done probably heard me for the kids. But kids gonna be kids. And sometimes you gotta put that voice to them. Amir trying to open the door. Javion trying to. My bad, you guys. Like literally, I had to you get my fast charger. It, we had like over two hundred some people in the room. It don't matter. Find something that you do have in your room to watch. You ruined that. I had to tell y'all too many times. Find something in your room to watch. But y'all, I um. My phone was on 10% and when I pushed the okay button outside, I forgot and I told myself I would put on a charge when I came in the house and I forgot. So luckily, when I plugged it on my phone up, y'all know the fast charge is your phone cut on fast and it went straight back to the video. I didn't have to start a new one. But yeah. So I tasted the grits a little bit. I need to add some more butter. I like my grits buttery, like really buttery. I'm just gonna use chopsticks to get it out. So I'm gonna put another clump in there because this is a lot of grits. So I'm gonna put this over here so you guys can see what's going on. So I just put the um, butter in here and I'm gonna give it a stir and I have my heat on super low. Like it's not even boiling. Give them a good stir. So butter stirred in there and I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Type one more time. 
And this is the pink Himalayan salt, okay? Check on the biscuits. They are almost done. And I made them way too big. <laughs> I definitely could have broke them down more. I made them too big, y'all. So it's okay. We ain't got no paper plates. Enough to eat off regular plates. All right. So for this sauce, it says do one fourth cup of butter and then this little pouch thing right here, which I wonder what's in here. It's a honey butter seasoning blend. So let's open it and see. This shit look mad weird. Oh my God, it smells good though. But this, can y'all see what it looks like? I didn't think it was gonna look like that. I thought it was gonna be like a pouch, like how the Velveeta is. I thought it was gonna be like that. Oh, so, I don't know what So we're gonna do one fourth cup of butter, which isn't a whole lot. I need a bowl to melt this in. And we're gonna melt it in this bowl because I gotta melt it, right? So, yeah. So, do one fourth cup of butter. And this has been softened, so I can measure it pretty good. I wish my mama had just a regular measuring cup. I want to go in the garage and get some of my utensils so bad. But girl, nobody got time for these fancy cups. All right, y'all, that's one fourth. Okay, that's one fourth today. That is one fourth today. And I'm gonna melt this for like 30 seconds. Thirty seconds. Stir up my grits because they're boiling, even though the heat is low. And here's the consistency right now, you guys. So I'm just gonna stir it. And like I said, I only add three things to my grits: salt, butter, and a little bit of pepper. So y'all want cheese, garlic, all that? You know, do your grits like that. But I'm a simple flavor girl when it comes to grits. I don't want none of that extra stuff. No, no extra seasonings. I don't even want seasoned salt. I don't want none of that. Okay, so my butter is melted and I'm gonna pour the little packet in there. And I'm about to take these biscuits out because they're about done. And I got this little brush thing that I'm gonna use. Y'all see it? And just give it a little stir. I'm gonna do a drop on my finger. Mm, that's good. I'm gonna squeeze some more honey in there though. I think I did too much butter. I'm gonna stir it up again. I'm glad the butter's hot because the honey like melted down instead of remaining like thick. There we go. That's gonna be good on them biscuits. All right, I'm gonna look at the comments in a second, y'all. Cause I know how y'all like to say I don't be looking at the comments, but I can't, I gotta look at this food too. And I don't want my grits to stir and get clump, I mean get clumps. So that's why I wanna stir them up good. Biscuits out. Oh, yeah, they're done. Take them out. Move this ball out the way. Y'all put sugar. I know some people that do sugar on grits. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, so y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, I definitely could have made them smaller because it's supposed to make nine biscuits. And I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. But I didn't realize when I was scooping that it was going to do that. Okay, so that's warm. Biscuits are done. Now let's drizzle the little stuff on there. that over it and i didn't put nothing on the foil because like when you um lift the foil up it's gonna come right off anytime i do like any kind of biscuits in the oven that's how i do it even if it's like pills beer i put on the foil i don't put nothing down no spray or nothing because it's just gonna lift off it ain't gonna stick and i'm just rubbing each one with some of this butter concoction and i did add extra honey in the batter and I did add extra honey into the butter because to me, that little packet just didn't do it. Hmm? I saw yellow something in the other bag. Okay, go sit down. Okay. Y'all in trouble. How in trouble? Because y'all don't listen. I had to tell y'all too many times, stop running in the house. Stop screaming, go outside with that. Stop going in and out. So now y'all just gotta sit there until I bring you food. So I'll show y'all what we are working with. Y'all see that? The thickness of it. You see Eric like his grits thicker than this. I like mine like this. It's like liquidy, but it's still got like a good thickness to it. So it's like falling down in clumps. It's not like water. So yeah. I don't put sugar in my grits. I don't do sugar in my grits. I don't do sugar in my collard greens. I'm not big on that type of stuff. I add sugar and extra stuff to my oatmeal now, like my oatmeal packet. All right, let's turn my grits off y'all. First things first, I wish we had some plates, but all the food is done. So let's eat, make the boys plate first, then we gonna eat on camera. Sugar and grits is hot cereal. Like I don't like cream of wheat. Y'all eat cream of wheat, I don't like that either. I had to make sure that phone didn't die while I was charging, but that fast charging only do pretty good, so I don't think we don't have nothing to worry about. And yeah, get done some shrimp and I mean some fish to go in here. I'm gonna show y'all my plate once I plate it. But them boys hungry, they keep asking me. I gotta go ahead and handle them. I'm gonna get them each um a piece of fish and then each a couple of shrimps. And I'm gonna um, give them a biscuit. Let me take the bowl. Let me take their bowls first. Hold on, ranch on green. I ain't never did that.
Hold on, YouTube. I'm coming. I got to take the boys their food. I'm going to make my food. Outside, okay, so I'm putting my grits in this little bowl thing right here. Eric, record? come eat. You still record? Yes. Uh, Eric, I mean, Amir. <coughs> yeah, go sit. Got yeah, I, I got him. Go to your room and eat, babe. I'm going to put my fish and stuff on this plate. Shrimp. So annoying. And then a biscuit. Yeah. Show me how the biscuits just come off. That's what I meant. Can't say no name, but that my little whoop the whoop. No, you ain't. Can't take my phone out of this thing. Eat y'all food. Girl, I ain't know he was outside. Be quiet. He was supposed to be in the room too. What's up? He ain't, he ain't just sitting in there. He ain't there watching TV. That's luxury. We had to sit and go to bed hungry. The fuck? Who that? Who that? Huh? I don't know. I need something to hold this phone up. Yeah, we couldn't even drink no drink before we ate. Right. <laughs> had to eat dry, be had dry to mouth as fuck. Drink, drink. Mouth be dry as hell trying to eat food. These kids got luxury over here. Let's eat. Damn, that's too high. Brandon, give me the yeah. give me that little bowl right there. The little bowl. The little bowl on the drying mat. to see them. Okay, I'm about to just scoot down. There we go. Put some hot sauce on my fish, baby. Where I get that from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't say fish. He said burrito. What? Because you know it look good to me. Mm. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Mm. Oh, give me that salt. Chris, need some salt. <laughs> That the pink Himalayan one. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. the, on the counter right there. The pink one. You want to sit down and eat? Need some salt and some more butter. They cook good, but they need some salt and butter prep for my preference. Going gang. Hey, I might post a new video uh tomorrow. Bam. Got some black too, boy. Mm. All right, let's finish eating. Is it good, boys? Yeah. All right. It's so funny because my stepson, I, I don't know if I already told y'all, but um, when we when I first met him, we ate like chicken nuggets, fries, pizza. He wouldn't even try my food. I'm talking about shrimp, fish, vegetables, corn, green beans. Now he eat everything I cook. I'm burning. Mm, that's way better. You didn't get no fish? No. And she said she just woke up. <laughs> Still on the way. I seen somebody post that about a dude. He said, he said something like, my bad, you still want to come over to me at 2 a.m. Mm. You didn't get no fish? No. You want no biscuit? Mm -mm. It's honey butter biscuit. Let me get one of your napkins. Why that fish like that? Like what? Like what? You always complaining. Good to me. It's crispy. It, what's that, cheese? Is that what's in there? Mm. Y'all don't listen to Brandon. They be thinking my food nasty because of you. I hate my father, don't honest. You ain't honest. Name it up. Name it. Look, do at Auntie and Go by his own house, Auntie and Coop, so little Coop. You like to be the picky, annoying little brother. Crazy. Yeah, Auntie and I hear that. It's a crunch. I don't know what he's talking about. Did I say it was soft? You still ain't told me. I can't explain it. What else you talking about? What you complaining about? I ain't even said it was nasty yet. You talking about some why I like that? Like why it's like what? I could have been like, damn, why is like you feel me? Why is it so good? Nah, bro, exactly. that, nah, that ain't what you were finna exactly. say, nigga. You don't know though. That ain't what you were finna say. Can't assume why I'm real like that, huh? Nah, that's what you finna say. Chapin. I need some drink. They can't see you. Are you done? Uh-uh. I'm eating on camera. Oh, my God. You think I do it, boy? Right here. You're coming from here. You can't even see him. You go that way. Good, oh, boy. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I just said it was good. Huh? What's right here? Yo, I said they can't see you. You it's covered. Yeah, I'm surprised. 
Mm-mm. How are you finna cook them? Uh, yeah, I oh. Yeah. I do mine in the other. Mm, bake around here. Mm. Add a little extra honey in there. There you go. I heard. I don't like that. You want fries? You want fries? You want fries? What? I said, you want fries? Yeah, let's go for fries. Mm. I had no fries for a little minute, so I ain't open them yet. Yeah. I thought I had waffle fries. I don't recall seeing that. You Yeah, the boys eating. Grandma outside. Plenty of food. Put fruit his plate up. I'm, I'm sweating. Damn. I'm off for the weekend. Oh no, y'all ear be acting camera shy now. Mm -hmm. What? They said why Eric don't want to be on camera. You'll never have me. Blum, 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 blum. I need something to drink. Boy, you know what I feel for real? I feel like I'm about to fall. You probably was. You be careful in that chair. Mouth gonna be so dry. Man, what? Oh, my little dirt. <laughs> Just sound like little dirt. Well, you know, little dirt, like, man, what? <laughs> Ain't hey, no more. They gone, gone. Mm. No key, they just be staying on you. Fat, his life flashing for his eyes. Oh, you need the whole bag, okay? I'm eat some. Oh. Let me know if it's good here. Enjoy. Come on. You ain't getting a biscuit? Uh-uh. You want one. I'm recording, so. Are you recording? Uh-uh, you need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full. What y'all feel to eat? I'm gonna go to Kool-Aid. What's that? Oh, shit. What is that? Katie. Louisiana food. Oh. Right down to about 7-Eleven. We go there. We done been there. Yeah, you have been there. You can't go there. Right, that's like, um... It was the one in Atlanta that was up the street from me. It was called uh. You ever heard of Razus? Mm mm. Yeah, that's like that's good. I'm not like good. They got grits. They had the grits too. <laughs> grits. Copeland's. It was called Copeland's. Atlanta. Okay. They had the grits and shrimp. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I'm full. What they doing there? They everything. Oh, she's not reading. I'm wilding out. <laughs> that was before I was 21 too. Yeah, no. <laughs> they was like, he have a beer. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Done, y'all. Uh, Shay Wells, I know you ain't been following me long. You asking that question? <laughs> Cause I'm a nail tech and I ain't have time to do my nails. My other hand, that's why. You got It's my dominant hand. This hand take longer, so I ain't feel like doing it. That's why it's like that. Hello. But anywho, I'm finna drink me some water, y'all, and get myself together. Thank y'all for tuning into this long ass video. This long, long video. Yo, like if you haven't subscribed, subscribe.
Drop a comment if y'all got any questions. Bro, tell them bye. I'm full. <laughs> you ain't bored than what you normally eat when you eat at night. I love y'all. Bye.